In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at our fossils foldable. So this is going along with our evidence of evolution notes, where we are looking at um, different pieces of evidence that support the theory of evolution by natural selection. So remember, evolution is just simply a change in a population over time. And what we can do is we can use fossils to help show how different um, organisms and different species, right, as a population have changed over time, right? So individuals do not evolve, okay? We grow and develop, only populations, only species evolve. So for this foldable, um, what I've done is I have cut out, I left the directions, um, but then I have cut out this left side, um, which is my uh, cross section of sedimentary rock, because that is mostly where I find fossils. And then here um, I have cut out the three um, fossils. So if you have not done so already, um, make sure you pause this video and get your notebook set up before you continue. Okay, so um, scientists right, determined the age of the rock in each layer, right? Where would the fossil be located? So we need to correctly organize the fossils in the layer of rock and then describe what the environment was like at this location over the past 500 million years. So was the location covered by water? Was it always dry land? And we're gonna base our answer on the type of organism found in the rock strata. So I'm just gonna get a little piece of tape. So here I have my aminoid. It says 360 million years ago it is a marine animal so that's probably going to go somewhere around here because i've got 500 million years to 200 million years my trilobite is 480 million years i'm going to put that down here at the bottom and then my fern is 299 million years so i'll place that about here so we get a little piece of tape maybe some glue and I'm gonna tape down my fossils. I'm kind of I'm spreading them out this way so that I can still um, read <laughs> what each of these say because they're a little bit larger than my uh, cross section. So there we go. So I've got my fern up here at the top, then my aminoid, and then my trilobite all the way down at the bottom. So now that I have um organized my fossils right in the layers of rock i need to describe what the environment was like so let's start right all the way down here because we have sorry we have a trilobite which is a marine organism and we have an ammonoid which is also a marine organism so this entire chunk of time a okay, like would have been We'll say covered by ocean water. Okay, so somewhere between, right, between 360 and 480 million years ago. Okay, because both trilobite, trilobites, and Aminoids are marine organisms. Okay, so they must have been in the ocean. So then our other fossil, our fur, right, is a land plant. So by 299, I put May, a million years ago, right? The environment is no longer um, covered by water, right? Because ferns are um, land plants, right? And a fossil can only be found there if it was on dry land. So we must have had dry land by around 299 million years ago. Okay. So using fossils can help 
um, scientists, uh, people, or scientists that you know, evolutionary scientists or people who study evolution, to see um, how organisms, um, different organisms are found in different places based on the environment. So by looking at these different organisms, we can see how this area changed over the course of about 500 million years because of the different types of organisms that were found in that single location. So again, this is just a cross section. So we just dug down into the earth at this one point and we found all of these different fossils, okay? And also a quick note, right? So what we need to make sure we understand that the older the fossil is, right? It's found in the oldest layers. Okay, so this trilobite, because it's here at the bottom, this is the oldest layer, right? And then the fern, right, we found it closer to the, the top. Uh, so, you know, this would be like the land that we're walking on versus digging deeper right into the earth. So youngest fossils on top, oldest fossils towards the bottom, okay? So that's it for these notes on our fossils foldable. If you have any questions, just let me know.